All right, well, I think one of the things that we're discovering now is the importance of how the connection with the earth, with the food, um, and with each other is, is so vital to our lives. And one thing that I found doing this biodiversity research now, uh, all my life, but most recently for the past 10 years, is that as I discover these plants and I introduce them to people, and now I do also the research on recipes and how do we prepare it, how do we integrate it into our, our, our culture. And um, the thing that is so exciting to me is, is what happens to people. They, they, I, I was amazed. I, I thought they would be interested. I know that I'm a fanatic, and I know that you know, I, that's my world. But boy, the people light up so amazingly. The children just sometimes just can't stand it. They're jumping up and down. And all that energy, which children often um, have, is can be channeled immediately into the earth and into the garden. And like my, uh, my granddaughters, Lana and Taya, when they come over, Taya first uh, immediately says, where's the worms? And she, you know, we, I opened up the worm thing and she just jumped right into the, the worms and it was just, they were pouring down her hands, you know. And normally you would think children would be into the yuck factor, like, because, you know, this is compost. I don't think I would have done that. But she was just going, yes, you know, uh, the, that kind of relationship, that kind of experience for children lasts their whole lives. It, it, it's a foundation that we need to build again. Technology is wonderful, but there's nothing like that direct relationship of feeling, smelling, tasting the, the life that comes from this opportunity to be really connected to our food, to our lives, to our um, you know, we meet around the table and, and like one thing that's important now is to recognize that yes we actually can sit at a table and talk to each other and share the food that we've grown and we don't have to answer iPhones and we don't have to uh, you know we, we can sit there and be together and that used to be all there was everyone would gather together but now I go to visit friends sometimes and, and uh, all their children are you know on their iPads at the table and I just, I, I'm horrified, frankly. And when I bring it up, they say, the parents would say, well, we've tried, we've asked them to not do that, but they do it anyway. And, and it's like, excuse me, <laughs> you know, who are the parents here? You know, what is going on here? And like uh, this one man who was trying to get his son out to play outside, says, well, why aren't you going outside? Why aren't you playing outside? And he says, dad, you know why? And says, no, tell me why, because there's no outlets. And the idea that, you know, a child feels like they need an outlet rather than that nature itself is the outlet. You know, that's our responsibility as adults to, to, to uh, help, help children understand that connection.